Hello! Hi guys, it's Inamika4 here with the Sony Xperia Z smartphone. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to increase the storage on this device while using a USB on the go cable. Now, this cable costs a couple of pounds from eBay. I'll try and leave a link in the description where you can get it from if you're interested. As you can see on the one side, you've got a standard USB 2.0 port. Along the other, you've got a micro USB port. And all you need to do, now this Sony Xperia Z is not rooted, it's completely stock as you would get it from the shop. Just plug it straight in, it doesn't go all the way in, but it's enough to get it recognised as it is there, and it's not terribly loose, it's fine. So we've got the 16 gigabytes of uh, onboard storage that the device comes with. I've already got a 32 gig micro SD card already in there, and we're going to be trying out some of these adapters here. Now what I will say is before we go any further, that anything that you plug in in terms of storage on to this device needs to be formatted with the FAT32 file system. Anything like XFAT or NTFS will not work on this device. It needs to be specifically FAT32. Okay, first off, we'll try the integral one gigabyte USB memory stick that I've got here. So, as I say, we haven't rooted the device. It's completely stuck, so I'll plug that straight in and it should say preparing USB storage there. So, what we need to go, go into applications, bring up file commander and it brings up everything that's on the device. So as you can see, it's got the internal 16 gigabyte storage of the phone itself. It's got the micro SD card, 32 gigabytes that's in the side. And now it's showing the USB disc, which we've plugged in. So if I go into here, now anything that you plug in via the USB on the go cable, you can sort of stream or watch movies from it. So if you've got movies stored on there, you can watch those, you can listen to music, you can have a look at photos. Um, I think I've actually got some of those here, so if I tap on that one, I think it is. There we go, that's just a photo, and it works fine. As It's as if it's on the phone itself, there's no lag at all. So if I go back, and let's have a look at this. Is this a, I think this is a film trailer, so we'll start over and see what it looks like. Uh, this is the Crudes, I think. Oh, we've been in a cave forever. Three days is not forever. There's with this family. Meet the Crudes. I call this a snapshot. And gone. I don't mean to sound too dramatic, but... A new one again. Where are we? Yeah, good, that looks... Audio is in sync with the video fine, considering it's being streamed from the, this little cable and the USB memory stick at the end of it. And you can also listen to music. So if I get a music track going, just see how that plays. Again, everything streams from here. All the controls still work as normal. That works fine. Although the speaker's not the most powerful in the world, but we already knew that. So we'll get come out of here and what we'll do just put that down a second unplug the one gigabyte memory stick and just leave that there what we'll try now is the eight gigabyte sandisk cruiser now as i said before this is formatted in fat 32 file system anything other than that will not work so let's have a look that's all connected up we'll go to applications file commander here we go internal 16 gig storage you got the 32 gig storage of the micro SD card that's in the side and then you've got the USB disk which is that thing there. So with 8 gig additional 32 gig micro SD card and 16 gig uh, internal storage that's a total of 56 gig in total so see if it lets, yeah it lets us go into the USB memory stick there and if I go into one of my folders um, I've got an Iron Man trailer so we'll play that see how that looks. You don't know who I am. You'll never see me. Where is Tony Stark? Things are different now. I have to protect the one thing that I can't live without. That's you. We go that plays really well as well audio is in sync with the video no lag at all but as i say the the usb disconnected via the usb on the code cable needs to be formatted in fat 32 anything other than that will not work i am just unplugging these but in reality you should be unmounting them from the menu 
So I'll just clear that. Uh, I'll just put that down there in a second. And what I want to try now is a SanDisk Ultra 64 gigabyte micro SD card. Now, because I've already got a 32 gigabyte card already in the device, I'm not going to remove that. So what I want to do is also use a adapter. So on the one side, I've got a micro USB 2.0 port. Along the other, it can take a micro SD card as it does there. So we'll just get that plugged in. Again, this costs a couple of pounds from eBay. So you can Google that or just go on eBay. You'll find plenty of those. So again, that's now plugged in. So we'll go into Applications, we'll go to File Commander. So again, internal, 32 gig SD card there, USB stick here. And there you go, it's brought up the contents and I've got another trailer there being Gangster Squad. So we'll get that playing, see what that looks like. Fast forward a bit. Dangerous. She's a damsel in distress. And I need you to save her. What happened to them? Who's the lucky guy? Going after Mickey Cohen. Doesn't seem right that he should have so much while others have so little. We're standing in the middle of a money making machine. Four. No glory in this assignment. When we That's awesome. So as you saw there, videos in sync uh, with the uh, audio, no problem at all. So we'll get that unplugged. Just leave that there a second. Come out of the menus while I'm there. Okay, so we know the adapter works fine. The micro SD card obviously works fine as well. So we'll leave that to one side there. What I want to try now is a adapter, an SD card adapter. So we'll get that plugged in there, as you see. And then we'll use this USB adapter here from Sony, which takes standard SD cards, as you can see there. I just want to show you that it doesn't matter what you convert into, it still plays it. So again, the end micro SD card still formatted in FAT32, just going through the various adapters, plugged in to the USB on the go cable. And what we'll do is go into File Commander again. So we'll go again, internal storage, 16 gig of the phone, SD card, 32 gig currently in the side, USB disk, which it shows up as USB disk because it's going through a USB connector there, 64 gig, so a total of 112 gigabytes in total. And yes, that shows up as well. So I've got another, the same Gangster Squad trailer, so I'll just play that again. Um, we'll start here. Skip through a little bit. Every castle's built on a pile of bones. You are to make no arrests. This is off the books. Who's the lucky guy? He's going after mothers. Nobody will ever know what we've done. If you do this, there's no going back. Well, you gotta die so. Wanna take me away from all this? No, ma'am. I was just hoping to take you to bed. I'll kill you if he finds out, you know. So that also plays fine from the various adapters that go through the USB on the go cable. You can also use a external hard drive as well, but as I say, that must be formatted with a FAT32 file system. And if it needs to be powered externally, meaning the phone cannot power uh, an external hard drive, then that needs to be done as well because the phone doesn't have enough power to power anything else. So you can't use one of those 500 gig um, USB only drives because the phone cannot power it. But if you've got one of those external drives that can be powered via a mains cable, then yeah, that will work fine as long as it is formatted in the FAT32 file system. So that's been a look at increasing the storage even further than the stock standard 16 gig and micro SD cards which are available for the Sony Xperia Z using a standard USB on the go cable for a couple of pounds off eBay or a couple of dollars from the States. As I say, I'll leave a link in the description. Any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and we'll see you next time.